Vimeo video tutorial. How to use Vimeo for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Vimeo video editor. Vimeo is an online tool that allows you to create and edit videos. You can not only create videos, but you can also host your videos on their platform. You have a simple video management library. You also can create and edit videos. You can create live streaming events. You have Vimeo venues and webinars. You also have Vimeo AI analytics and a mobile version. You also have video monetization with video on demand and OTT. So let's get started with Vimeo. Now to get started with Vimeo, we're just going to head on over to Vimeo.com and then click on join on the top right. Once you click on join on the top right, you can continue with Google or sign up with your email address. We're just going to continue with Google over here. And once I click on continue, our account will be created in just a few seconds on Vimeo. And just like that, once we have created our Vimeo account, you will see a simple section to proceed with one of their plans. You can proceed with the free version or you can even get a free trial of one of their paid plans. So I do recommend that you opt for a free plan or opt for a trial first before you proceed with, with one of their plans. So you guys can see the free version by default, you're gonna have that and you can choose to get a free trial. I am just going to close this up and when you close it up, you directly go into the free version of Vimeo. Now, once you have opened up the free version of Vimeo, this is what your dashboard or any new account is going to look like. On the top left, you have a home tab and in your home tab, you're going to see your uploads, imports, and templates. Then on the left, you have a library section where you can build a library for your team. Then you have live events, showcases that you might already have as well as any events that you want to start. And then you also have analytics on how your videos are performing on Vimeo because Vimeo is not only a video editing platform, but it is a video watching or it's a platform like YouTube where there are creators and you can watch creators. You can click on the watch tab on the bottom left to actually view Vimeo videos and to use it as a viewer rather than as a creator. So you can go on ahead and browse all the different videos that are present over here. There are a lot of amazing videos on Vimeo that can help you in inspiring and creating your own. So let's get started. Now, first off, you can start with a sample video to get started and you will have a feed as well. You can click on create new or from a template on the top to get started. Now, once you do that, this is what your basic Vimeo sizing or basic template is going to look like. On the left, they have some stock media suggestions as well. Now, if you want, you can upload from your own computer here as well to start, you know, editing those files. You can also upload from Dropbox, Drive, Box, Zoom, WebEx, or other apps as well. But we're going to proceed with the template and we're just going to click on create new. And now we're going to proceed in detail with the Vimeo video editor. So this is what the Vimeo video editor looks like. On the top left, you have your media section. This includes stock videos, uploads that you might do, and library images. You can click on upload over here to upload certain videos that you want to edit. For example, I have this video over here so I can upload that. And when you upload media files in your library, it allows you to share content with multiple different people in your team. So you can create teams on Vimeo as well. Other than that, on the left, you have a lot of different stock footage available that can be helpful for people that are just looking to create, you know, interesting content. So I want to use this stock image and we're going to click on try it for free because this might be paid stock footage. So we're going to have to just, you know, add our info and start our free trial. You can actually see, you know, a lot of different videos are available. You can drag and drop them here and, you know, choose them but we have our upload that is now completed and this is what our upload looks like we can upload a bunch of different videos there's honestly no restriction whether it's video or other types of images that you want to upload you can really upload whatever you want as long as you're willing to edit it now this is what the video looks like so it's a simple save the date ad and it has some music in the background as well 
Now, although this is pretty, oh, you know, it's pretty decent, I want to elevate this a little. So we're going to get started with that. And instead of this ratio, I'm going to go with a 9 by 16 ratio. You can do that simply by clicking on the top left and change the canvas ratio. And then I'm going to place the content and then I'm going to expand or I'm going to crop the ratio like this. And then just expand it like so so my content is like this now i'm just going to zoom this in zoom it out a little and just like that we have our basic info now on the top left it's going to suggest a logo position by default the vimeo logo is going to be there and you can go into stock over here to search for stock images as well if you want to include images because videos are made up of you know small images so if you want you can use some of their stock images as well by signing up with their free trial now after that you can go into templates on the left and if you're you know not sure about what type of video you're looking to create these templates are going to be a great way for you to use different scenes you can see that this is a simple sale template and this could be utilized in our video and we have uh, quite a few different templates you can filter out templates based upon the sizing that they have for example currently i'm doing you know portrait ads but if i want i can click on the ratios and choose to browse ratios or you know templates for landscape ads so you have quite a few different options in this so we can view any of our templates we can click on use all all scenes and our timeline will be replaced so our current timeline would be lost keep that in mind when you add a template you know your current frames are lost but that's all right uh, i can re-upload that but this is using images so instead of seeing videos myself i'm gonna click on upload and i'm just gonna go and add our content from our you know drive or from our pc whatever you're using you're just gonna upload that and i'm just going to upload a couple of our product images like this once this has this particular template is using three images so i'll show you guys what the template looks like from start we're back in business and everything is on sale and then after that swipe up to shop because you know this is probably for instagram ads which is something i was looking to create as well so now to start replacing the content on the bottom uh, i'm going to click on media and click on uploads and you can drag and drop your own image you know across a section like this and then i'm just going to delete the image that was present over there and then i'm going to add my own image over here in the same timeline then delete the other one and i'll delete the last one as well and then add my own image now i'm going to adjust the timings accordingly so i'm just going to expand it by holding it on this little tab and then you're just going to place all of your image content like this now just play it to make sure it looks smoothly transitioned and now i'm going to have to change the image sizing a bit i'm going to place my images and then expand them to the top like this because i want a zoomed in version of my image then hold the preview bar and just place it on the next frame once you have it on the next frame just expand your image like so and we have a makeup image at the end i don't think i'm gonna need to expand this a lot but still i do think it's better if i do so i'm just gonna expand it to this level now once i've done that i'll move my preview bar and instead of writing we're back in business i'm gonna click on the text on the bottom then once i click on it you will see the edit text option on the left i'm going to add the brand name so let's say i want to add spencer makeup is back or spencer makeup's annual sale and then once i do that i'm going to click on the text and then resize the text box then place it at the center over here then i am going to click on the text color and choose a different text color now i want this text to be slightly larger so i'm just going to increase the font size then we also have alignment drop shadows animation and edit text so i think that i want to highlight sale like this and then after that i also want to add an animation so currently it slides right in but i want it to i want it to flicker or i want it i'm gonna look at all the animations to see what looks nice i think i liked the flicker version a lot so i'm gonna go with the flicker once you choose an animation you have this section where you can animate by line or by text box 
I want to animate line by line, which I think looks really nice. So I'm going to go with this one. Now I can move towards the next frame. So Spencer Makeup's Annual Sale. And this is a bit too long, so I'm going to decrease the overall time for this by a couple of seconds. And then move the rest of my content over here just so it looks better because I don't want it to be super long. I want this to be a really short ad. Everything is on sale and I'm going to click on sale, click on the text color and change it to white because my images already are pretty dark. So I want to create some level of contrast. Now, if you want to add any type of text or graphic, just click on text on the left and you can click on add text and you will have a text box. In this text box, you can add any type of text. You will see on the left, you have the option for fonts. Then you have your font sizing as well as text color and fill color. I want to write like a small logo or, you know, a small tagline on top. I would just add this, which is going to be add text. On the left, I'm going to type in my text, which is the tagline text. So let's say it's going to be makeup or all. Once I do that, you will see on the bottom where you have your preview section, it displays where you're going to have this. And I want this for the first frame only like this. Then I'm going to hold the text box and then I'm placing it on the top right. I'm going to click on the text color and change it to white. And I'm going to double click on my text. And I don't know, for some reason, my four looks a bit off over there. Once I have done this, so or I don't know why this is not looking nice, but makeup for all. Now I'm going to click on the font and then I can choose a font that I think is going to suit my tagline. And then I can place it over here. Once we are satisfied with our frame and our animations, moving on to the next section, we have changed the text color on this, and then we have this. Now over here, I might want to add a bit more of a stylized element. So to add a bit more of a stylized element, you can click on graphics on the left. Now in graphics, you have things like shapes, frames, gradients, arrows, bubbles, call to actions, buttons, socials, bounce backs, text, love, photo stickers, echoes, 3D text, body is in motion, make your mark. So you have a lot of different types of, you know, graphics available and you can select the ones that you want. So let's say I want to add a simple echoes section. So I would click on echoes and they're going to show me some of the uh, popular echoes. Friend alert, sound on, awesome, fun, welcome, coming soon, best team, contact us, we're hiring, you know, you have quite a lot of options. So go on ahead and choose the one that you want. I'm going to add these hearts because I think they look cute and I'm just going to add them over here. Once I do that, I'm just going to place them and they're going to be added like so. They're added in this red tab here and I'm just going to change the duration from here till this part. And once I do that, I can place them in the same preview section as the makeup for all section because the makeup for all section is just going to be in the first frame. So it's all right if I place this in the same uh, frame as our makeup for all tab, rather than including a separate line for it. Obviously, if you're adding multiple different elements in one frame, you're going to have multiple different lines in the preview section. But I like to work in the same line when I have equivalent things. So if you're adding multiple texts that are going to change every time in every frame, you can choose to include them like that. So on and so forth, you can proceed with your customizations. And then we can move towards our next frame. We have a swipe up and I think this looks good. So I'm just going to go into the music and on the bottom, the music was added by default. I'm going to click on delete over here because I do not like the music that was added. And you can see featured music, all music and then uploads. So. You can go on ahead and browse some of the music and listen to the available free music. And you can actually add more than one track at the same time. You can do a double click on the track to listen to, you know, the beats. And I think this looks fine, but I can split the track like this and then delete one part and then move it like so. So you can choose which section of the track you want to uh, have playing in your Vimeo video. Then you can go into colors and then choose a color scheme and then add your logo. And once you've done that, just click on save on the top right. Once you click on save on the top right of your Vimeo video, you will have your manage videos section. 
now our video is currently being rendered. Now with Vimeo, not only do you have the ability to, you know, create your videos, but you have the ability to host videos and you get one gigabyte of free storage on the free version. And this does, you know, the capacity for your storage does increase. So if you do choose to upgrade, you're going to have more storage on Vimeo. You will even see the Vimeo player. You have different presets you can add. You also have video details and actions and play buttons and controls you can customize. You also have subtitles and audio tracks that you can add. And you also have interactive sections where you have chapters that you can add to your videos, registrations, cards, and end screens. But these all of these things are only going to be you know functional when people are viewing your video on vimeo itself if you're looking to just download the video and share it elsewhere these functions are no use for you in that case you also have the edit option to further stitch videos together on the top right you will get analytics for vimeo so how many views are you getting on vimeo impressions and your view rate then below that you're going to see how you're going to title so this is going to be my makeup makeup add copy and then i can add the description thumbnail you can upload or select it from the video as well and i want to select this frame and then after that you can add tags categories and any credits languages and copyrights once you do that you're going to see the option to copy the link and you can copy the link and share your video you can also copy the embed code or directly just click on publish we are just going to click on share and you can directly share only via email and you can choose different options like password protected hide from vimeo unlisted videos or public videos where anyone on the internet can view them. I want this to be a private video and I can just copy the link and then share it with specific people. Otherwise, if you're someone that is looking to include their videos on their website and they want some you know, place to host their video and edit their video, you can just copy this embed code off of Vimeo and then you can basically embed anywhere from Google Sites to any other place. You can uh, choose the embed privacy if you want it to be embedded nowhere, anywhere, or specific domains. And once we have done that, we can just proceed with publishing or deleting our video. You can click on publish and you can embed this in an email and send this out to yourself on an email. Now, just like that, our video is now present in Vimeo and we can download this as well. You can click on the three dots and then click on download and download it in up to 1080p directly from Vimeo. So you don't have to, you know, suffice the video quality just for free downloads. You have 1080p available on the free version. Now, when it comes to the free version of Vimeo, you have creation, editing, screen recording, and sharing and embedding. Then on the starter plan at only $12, you have privacy controls, custom video players, custom URLs, review and collaboration. Then you have 100 gigabytes of storage. Then you also have auto captioning. So if you want to do auto caps, so that means, you know, translations that are added to your videos directly, you can get that on the starter plan. Then you have the recommended plan at $25 where you have brand kits. So if you add the brand theme, you can automatically apply your brand theme to any video and it would be applied, including things like color schemes, logos, and font combinations. You also have teleprompters, text-based video editing, AI script generators, and social analytics. Then you have the advanced version with AI, you know, a lot of AI generated chapters and text summaries. You have branded invites, stream, you can stream multiple destinations and much more. However, these are the annual prices. On monthly prices, you pay $20 for starter, $41 for standard, and 108 for the advanced version. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.